Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first in a series of videos about the B Link EQ12 mini PC. This is an N100 based processor system. This is a processor that was released in early 2023. The PC itself came out in August, and it has an Alder Lake N100 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig of storage, Wi-Fi 6, and dual 2.5 gigabit LAN. It does, in fact, have a TPM 2.0 chip in it. In fact, here is the TPM.MSC utility in Windows 11 showing that it does have a TPM 2.0 right here where it says specification version 2.0. So let's put that all to rest. What are we going to do with this thing? I'm not a big fan of Windows 11. That's no secret. So we are going to install a number of operating systems on it as the course of the month goes by. But I wanted to start in Windows just for the sake of argument because that's what comes preloaded on the thing. And so let's jump back over there and poke around a little bit. And then we will uh, outline some of what we're going to do the rest of the month with this little machine. Okay, so here we are on Windows again with CPU-Z opened. As you can see, it's an Alder Lake M100 chip with a max TDP of 6 watts. So very low power draw. It's a 10 nanometer chip. Intel really needs to work on this stuff. And you can see family information about that here. Under motherboard, it's pretty generic stuff that you would expect. The BIOS date is March 17th, 2023. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, DDR5, 4800. Uh, the unfortunate part of this is that it is single channel, but for some of the different uses we're going to have for this machine, that is not going to be terribly important. It's got Intel UHD graphics, and I'm not going to run benchmarks on this. It is an all right machine if you are just using basic office applications, if you're buying a machine for your parents, if you're buying a machine for a younger child, this is a good starter system. It's not going to win any awards for being a speed demon by any stretch of the imagination. Here again, you can see it's a B-Link EQ N100 machine, and it's showing the processor at 800 megahertz, which it actually boosts to I believe it's 2.6, but don't quote me on that. It's not a bad little machine and very low power draw. One of the nice things is that it has dual 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. So you could use this as a very low power draw router or firewall. Again, this is all going to depend on your specific needs for your network, but that is one thing you could very easily use it for because of the dual 2.5 gigabit network ports. Okay, so what are we going to use this for as the month progresses and beyond September? Uh, we are going to install some various Linux distributions on it. We will put a 2.5 inch SATA drive in it as well so we can experiment with um, TrueNAS Scale, Open Media Vault, Proxmox, and others that might require a second disk. Uh, we might even put DAF file on here to run it as a little mini media server for audio files for RIP CDs. 
the utility of this device is limited only by your imagination when it comes down to brass tacks. Now, personally, I won't be using it for office type applications. I'm more of a server oriented person. So that's what I will probably use it for is some sort of a server, whether it's Proxmox to use as a demo box to take with me places, whether it's a an open media vault box or a two NAS scale box uh, or something else. I might even put just a bare bones command line only Debian install on here and use it as a server that I can take on the go and have available for various purposes that I might need when I'm not at home. And because of the low power draw and the small size, it is very convenient to throw that in my computer backpack and take it with me and use it on the road. Here we are back in the list of topics that I have earmarked for use on this N100 machine. Now, some of these are going to work quite well. Others, like the Regatta OS game platform, might not be the best fit, but I'm going to give it a try anyways because, hey, it doesn't have the overhead of Windows, and I'm not a AAA gamer, so I may be very happy with something like this to just run a few casual games on. So we will be looking at some of this stuff, testing it out, and trying to determine if it's a good fit or not. My gut feeling, based on how the thing has been running so far under Windows, my gut feeling is that it would really shine as an ultra-low power server that can just be set on a shelf and left alone. Because of the dual 2.5 gig Ethernet ports, which could be set up in a bond, this bodes very well for use as a server. That will wrap up the first preview look at the B-Link EQ12 N100 machine. As always, if there's something you want to see on this, head on down to the comment section, let me know. I do have a backup of the Windows 11 install. So if a suggestion or a request requires that I go back to Windows 11, it'll take me a few minutes to restore the image over to this machine, over the network, and I can continue <laughs> testing with Windows 11. That being said, I will probably, unless there are many requests, I will probably shelve Windows 11 until the time 23H2 is released and in general availability. Then I can test out the new features and see if there's anything compelling to me in the new version. Alrighty, well, that's going to wrap up the video for today. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm looking forward to playing with this and doing something a little more interesting with it. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.